Well, congratulations, you've now got your access points connected to the zone director. It's tempting at this stage to start thinking about creating some WLAN so that you can get your users connected. But is that the best idea? Well, it's not, because what you should really be thinking about is some of the more advanced configurations of the access points. And start by using the maps. The map function allows you to place the access points on the dashboard so that you can see from a global view where your access points are and the health of the access points. So we'll begin with a look at the map function, which is new to Zone Director 10. And then we'll talk about access point grouping. For me, access point grouping is the most underused feature. It really enables you to fine tune your network and to manage in different areas the way that the access points are gonna perform. So we look at access point grouping, and then we'll talk about some of the settings that you can get on individual access points.